everyone, it's Holly Astro and today I'm going to be doing an Ask a Tattoo Artist episode for you. I did actually post up a uh, post on Instagram last night. Um, if you don't follow me already, my name there is at Holly underscore Astro, that's it. Um, asking if anybody had any specific questions they wanted me to answer. And I ended up getting asked a bunch of really interesting questions, so I thought I'd just make a whole um, big video about it. So yeah, I'm going to go through now and find the questions on my phone. Uh, Chaos Tan asks, "Is there anything someone could do that would make you to refuse that would make you refuse to tattoo them? Um, if they were drunk, or if inebriated in some way? If they, if I didn't think it was a design that I could make look good, I wouldn't do it. Um, and I guess if someone was really rude or aggressive, or I didn't feel like I would want to sit with them for the time that it would take to get a tattoo, then I would say." No, they're the only reasons I can think of. Billy V Tattoo asks, would you tattoo a swastika as long as the client had the right intentions, even though the average person looking at the tattoo will only see negative connotations? Um, yeah, I would, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, obviously if somebody wanted um, a swastika, like a Nazi, Nazi swastika, I wouldn't do it. If somebody wanted a Buddhist swastika, I would do it. It's a misunderstood symbol that I think people should be made more aware of. And if the person coming to me understands it enough to want it to get, to want to get it tattooed, then I would definitely do it for them. It's a powerful symbol and it's kind of a shame that it does get misinterpreted the way that it does. Well, I think it's a, a really beautiful symbol and it makes a lovely tattoo. Lewis Pontifex asks, what places to travel are on your bucket list? Um, I would love to go to Australia, I would love to go to Thailand and India. There's still places in England that I'd like to go, I still would like to go and travel around. Yeah, that's a really vague answer. Oh, Japan, I really want to go to Japan. <laughs> I've been meaning to go for years, um, I would love to go to Japan. Yeah, I would definitely like to do more travelling in the future. Space Manifesto asks, do you have a favourite brand of needles? Mmm, that's a good question. I really like Hydra needles. Um, I think they're called Hydra Icon, E-E-I-E-E-I-K-O-N. <laughs> I'm dyslexic, sorry, I don't know how to spell. Um, yeah, they're really good. I use their tight liners and they're great. Um, she goes on to say, what is your opinion about being a sponsored artist? Recently I heard that you have to watch who you pick. For your sponsor because some brands are less liked in tattoo society and your choice can close some doors for you. I think tattoo sponsorships are great. I don't know about that specifically. I mean I'm not sponsored so I wouldn't know. Fable Wolf asks how would someone approach trying to get a tattoo apprenticeship? I've actually got a whole video about that um, elsewhere on my channel and I will link to it below. I'm going to be working on another video like more specifically about tattoo apprenticeships because it's I think it's my most commented video I get asked lots and lots of questions about it. Um, so I guess that's one if you have a specific question for me about tattoo apprenticeships ask it below and I'll try and include it when I make that video. Okay, this is one that confused me. Super Queen Tattoo said, um, why is the studio so dark? Which I didn't understand. And then she went on to clarify, because in my videos I always wear a head torch. But, like the studio is not dark. Uh, the reason I wear a head torch is just because I prefer it. When you're working, there's quite often a point, you know, when you tilt your head a bit strange and you end up with a shadow right in the middle of where you're working. If you have a head torch on, you just have a constant light. Um, it takes the shadows off stuff. So, Mini Bears, Gus and Otis asks, have you ever done a full scalp tattoo on anyone and would you like to I've done like um, a side of the head and like a back of the head and that's it but yeah I'd love to do a full scalp tattoo so mini bears Gus and Otis if you want one send me an email I would love to do one tattooed superhero villain oh that's an interesting name that's like an oxymoron isn't it if you're a superhero villain super villain I don't know anyway how do you feel when people want to make changes to the design you've already made for them. They put a smiley face, that's cute. Uh, that's fine, that's part of the process. Um, I did make another video about um, tattoo consultations, which I'll link down below. I mean, the person who's getting the tattoo, they're the one getting it, so you've got to get it how they want it. Um, it's just kind of part of my job. 
if somebody wants to make a change, um, you just have to be adaptable and do it. That Francesca girl says, it would be cool if you could do a video on how to email tattoo artists for appointments. Um, this is actually another one that I'm going to do a whole video on because I think that's really interesting. There is something about asking for the appointment or whatever that makes people nervous. Um, and it shouldn't do, like booking a tattoo should be a fun thing. So I think I, I'm going to answer your problem your question properly on another video and like actually kind of give it like a big long answer that it deserves because I think there's lots of elements to that question that's a good one Martin T 94 says do you think people should vary themselves in tattoo artists and explore different people's styles or if they find one person they love then stick with them personally I like to try new artists I don't think I've got um, have I got any tattoos that like more than one that's by the same person? Not really. I've got a couple of tattoos that took multiple sessions to complete, but I think I pretty much just get one tattoo off a person. Oh no, with the ex <laughs> with the exception of Matt Spears, who's the apprentice at our shop, I've got two tattoos by him, so he wins. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just kind of have one tattoo per person just because I kind of think of myself as like um, like a sketchbook and I just want to collect pieces by all my favourite artists. I do a lot of travelling around um, to get my tattoos uh, so it's kind of an ongoing project. Uh, that being said I do think there's some merit to just having one person do your tattoos and stick with it. I know I did debate before I started whether I was just going to get you know one sleeve done by one person and one sleeve done by another person and in the end for me I couldn't pick just one favourite artist or one particular style so I just decided to more go for a collector kind of approach which works for me um, just because I'm greedy <laughs> I don't want to just get all the different artists but at the same time I think it looks rad when you just get one sleeve by one person or like we had a guest artist Aaron Burton come in um, a couple of weeks ago at the shop and a customer came in, he'd done his whole leg and it just looked amazing just having one leg all done by one artist. So there's merits to both, I guess you just have to pick what works for you. Um, I have no idea how long this video is um, because I've filmed each question as an individual segment and then I'm going to edit it together so maybe it's massive or maybe it's small, I don't know. <laughs> if it's big then I'm going to edit it into two videos and if not you'll just get one big one. Um, that is it for me as always if you want to see more of my tattoo work you can find me on Instagram my name there is at holly underscore astral you can find me on Facebook you can find me on tumblr Twitter Pinterest everywhere so have a look for me and I will see you next time bye